every kid has a dream, right? Ever since I was six, mine's to become a pro surfer. Every single thing I do is aimed at scoring that goal. Some people think I push it too hard. Maybe. But I know what I want, and I'll do whatever it takes to get there. I mean, take something like making a choice. The way I see it, you can't worry about everything. If you can work out the difference between what really matters and what doesn't, you're halfway to where you want to be in life. Right. Decision time. As in who takes which bed? Exactly. So let's work this out. Okay, the top bunk is good because you're away from the crowd. Like, it can be your own little world up there, right? Right. But it requires effort to get up there, which is a hassle. Whereas the bottom bunk is easy to get into, but you've got to put it with the guy by tossing and turning and keeping you awake all night. So I suppose that means you want the single bed then, right? Well, the single's good from a personal space option, but it's... it's the furthest from the window. Less air, less light. OK, so which one do you want? I don't know. I mean, whatever decision we make now, we have to live with for the whole year, right? What's happening, guys? Oh, um, just checking out the sleeping arrangements. Yeah, as in who should take which bed. Cool. I'll take this one. Unless, of course, anyone has any objections. No, none, none for me. Uh, absolutely. You, you wanted us yours. Sweet. So, Guy, what's it going to be? Private penthouse upstairs or easy access downstairs? We don't have to rush this, you know. I mean, there's still time to think about it. Guy, it's just a bed. No! No way! I mean, if you sleep good, then you wake good. It's a proven fact. Why don't you just flip a coin? <laughs> no, it's OK, guys. I've thought about it, and I'm going to go with the top. <laughs> well, are you sure? I mean, I don't want to pressure you into anything that you'll end up regretting. It's OK, man. I'll take my chances. And I'll try and keep the tossing and turning to a minimum. Right, then. I'll, um, take the bottom bunk. That all right with everyone? Go yeah. for it, man. Go ahead. It's all yours, guy. Great. I've got that sorted. Wow, looks like someone's got an early to snag this one. Mine, sorry. I'll move them if you like. Hey, why should I like? Why should you be sorry? Well, I just... Stop being so nice. Come on, let's go inspect option two. Wow, it didn't take you long to make yourself at home. Oh, Beck just said to come up and get a bed, so that's what I did. Wow, I love this top. It is so cute. <laughs> well, we can borrow it if you want. Any of my clothes. Thanks, that's really nice of you. You obviously don't have sisters. How'd you guess? Well, you never let any of them borrow anything unless you never wanted to see it again or didn't care if it was ripped or dirty. <laughs> oh, I'd love to have a sister. Well, I have three and they are all for sale. In fact, I will give them away. <laughs> So, I'm set up here in Lawrence next door. Which one of us gets to have a sister? You mean it's my choice? Well, you're the sister expert. I only have brothers. Me too. Well, guys, are you sure you know what you're doing? I mean, you don't even know me. Looks like one of us soon will. Mm-hmm. You get points for training, competitions, keeping up with schoolwork and housework. You need a minimum of 15 points in each category with an overall total of 60 points to qualify for the final surf-off. Any questions? What if we do well in training and schoolwork but stuff up in housework? Then you don't qualify. Are you seriously saying that if we don't wash the dishes properly, we don't get to surf in the final? That's about it. That's crazy. We're here to compete for the pro surfing circuit, not train to become housemaids. Well, it's more than just housework. It's about responsibility. We need to know that you can pull your own weight and not buckle when things get tough. I think that's fair enough. You know all about the pro circuit, do you? No, but... Then don't agree with things you don't know anything about. Whoa! Get off your high horse, cowboy. Since when were you the expert? You're right. I haven't been on the pro circuit, but it stands to reason that if you can handle responsibility, you've got a much better chance of success. Last time I looked, surfing was about catching waves. How does vacuuming the lounge room help with any of that? That is a very interesting question, Charlie, and one you will have a whole year to explore. <laughs> like it or lump it, people, that's how it is. Yeah, I can empathise with that. Huh. I mean, I can see what Charlie's saying, but I can also see what Beck's saying, too. <laughs> what? Thanks, man. That's really cleared that up. <laughs> Adam, Bridget, do either of you have anything you'd like to add? No, the rules are the rules. As long as they're clear and fair, I don't have a problem. I'm with Adam, but I do have one question. What's the story with the new surf coach? When do we get to meet them? Yeah. Ah, yes, that is something I will fill you in on over dinner tonight. In the meantime, how about you grab your boards and check out the local break? Yeah. It might help cool some tempers. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need two people to cook dinner tonight. 
Lauren, Charlie, thank you for volunteering. Excuse me, I don't believe I volunteered. Oh, well, I guess you just got lucky then. Coming in? The waves on the reef have got better shape. Well, the ones out the front aren't bad either. Uh, I think I'll surf the reef. It's not that I'm antisocial or anything. Like I said, it's all about achieving my goal. I don't care what choices the others make, that's their business. I just make the choice that's right for me. If that gets up people's noses, well, sorry, but that's their problem, not mine. What's Charlie doing? He reckons the waves out of the reef are better. That's a bit unsociable. Maybe he doesn't want to be sociable. Yeah, well, I'm glad it's you cooking with him tonight. If it was me, he'd have a saucepan around his head in about five seconds flat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be OK. Now, are we here to surf or are we here to surf? We're here to surf! <laughs> when the time comes and you're forced to face it, which side are you on?